Hey, what's up everybody? We have fantastic, fantastic video today. I'm going to the train station now to pick up my friend Dave. He came here for work and he's on the fence about whether he should stay in Taiwan or not. I'm hoping that this is the trip that will like totally blow his mind and then keep him here in Taiwan. So there he is. What up? Dave! <laughs> this Hi. is so legit, man. So good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, Dave, how should I introduce you? What's your Chinese name? I don't have one yet. I thought that's what we're going to figure out, man. Dave here, he doesn't have a Chinese name. So maybe you know, watch the video through, try to get his uh, personality down. And then after you get to know him, maybe comment down at the bottom. Let us know what you think. Give us some ideas for a Chinese name. When right? I was living in, uh, in, in China, mainland China, yeah. they would call me Taishwila. <laughs> but here yeah. they told me I can't keep that one. Yeah, so mostly people just call him Gao Fu Shui. <laughs> but uh, maybe we can find something better for him. <laughs> oh. That is nice. Taiwan's beautiful. So like during another part of the year, is this lake, this river like full on flowing and stuff? Actually, right now it's supposed to be full on flowing, but because the typhoon season is relatively weak this year, and by relatively weak, I mean we just haven't had a typhoon. So this is a bit low water level for this time of year. You can see how it, it's like really wide. It looks like at some point it must, it must flood with yeah. like, million times as much water as it has now. That so definitely happens, but just happens for like a day or two and then it goes back down. So I'm going to Taidong after this for two weeks. I need to work on US time for like a couple weeks. And then sunrise and sunset, I'm just gonna surf. But it happens to be a typhoon while I'm there and I catch some big waves. Now it's a secret. I wouldn't complain, man. My fun is a town called Jinzun. Oh, I was just gonna suggest that to you, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're so local, man. Oh, man. I was just gonna suggest that to you. Yeah, there's a beautiful, beautiful beach there as well. Tailed Island or something. It's like an island, but it's like connected by a little strand of sand. So, so I can walk there? Yeah, you can walk there, yeah. <laughs> or you can drive. What? <laughs> This is beautiful and shit, but you haven't told me anything. You just picked me up at the uh, Yeah, 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 I forgot. We're going to a place called Stan Waterfall. Okay? Fun set. Fun set. No, no, it's... All the, all, the, all the Pink Roses fans. No, no, a different, a different kind of fan. A Shansa. It's like a, it's like, you know, like the Chinese traditional fan. This kind of fan. Oh, that kind of fan. Yeah, I don't know about those types of fans. Well, you should learn. It's going to be hot in the south. This is the shape of the waterfall. It's like a really wide base. It's super beautiful. Wait, can we like jump in? There are some places along the way that you can jump in. You'll do some jumping on this trip. Don't worry. We'll make it happen. Yeah, we'll talk. I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, you should be. <laughs> the weather oh, has yeah. been like a bit strange recently. How quickly do you get cold? Dude, I have a, a hoodie with me just in case. No, I mean in the water. Oh, pretty, pretty quick. But dude, I, I'm, I got f***ing hair on my chest, man. We're gonna be okay. We got f***ing hair okay. on our chest. We're gonna, We're gonna be, be all right. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, what a street are we on, man? This is like... Where are we? Chalfei still hasn't really told me what we're doing. He just told me about this like fans waterfall. Pretty sure I'm gonna die. I love y'all. We just found the way in. A little sketchy. Wow. This is f***ing dope. Dude, we were just driving by this river and now we're here, man. Let's go. Dude, this is so sweet. We're just walking in a river. See what the, up there, the water changes color? Yeah, why yeah. is it so nice over there? Cause that, the river coming in has much less sand and sediment in it than the main river. So we're gonna go up that river on the right that has oh, so wow. much uh, nice, clear, beautiful water. Look at these two different colors here. You can tell by the waves where it's deep. You see that flat area? Mm -hmm. That's the deep area. And these two colors here, you can see where the uh, river's mixing. We're going up that? Yeah. Oh, shit, that's like a big rock, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I make the maps and stuff, tell me I come somewhere. I was gonna like, you know, get some reference points here to the entrance to the river. Get a photo so of you nice. for your mom, so she's yeah. not worried. Tell your mom you're okay. This f***ing crazy motherfucker kidnapped me and is taking me up this river and I don't even know where we're going. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Do I jump on with the backpack or no? Sure, it's fine, yeah. This water is so nice, man. I thought I was gonna make it up here before jumping in, but... For river tracing, we're actually just basically in the water the whole time going up. That's why I was, you know, wanted to make sure you're warm and everything. Because it's basically like an hour in the water going up. That's why when I was like, oh, I don't really know if I want to jump in, you feel like <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter. You'll get in eventually. <laughs> Ooh, the rocks are high. You want to step on small rocks? Not big rocks. Yeah. They're slippery. This guy's a professional. Why are the big rocks slippery? Because they've been around longer? The big rocks are slippery because they can have algae and stuff growing on them. And small, small rocks. Rock. 
I think it's because when you step on the rocks, you're stepping on like many rocks at once, and so it's not like one hard surface. It's like a, a kind of a varied surface. Anytime you see a shot like that, it means I have to do it twice. Is there gonna be a waterfall up here? There's no more water. You're just gonna have to trust me. I don't know, man. <laughs> Whoa! It's funny, it's all things you've never done before, so you don't know if you can do them or not. Only one way to find out, man. Mm. Whoa, the river is flowing. Yeah, yeah. I thought it had pretty much run out of water. Wow, look at all these leaves falling. Now the water's super nice temperature today. Ooh. This is just like one huge rock. You think the water had to take it from somewhere and push it to this location. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, look at this one right here. Yeah, so it only takes about 10% of the water to lubricate rocks. So it's like you could have like a flowing river of only rocks that kind of behaves like water. That it's sounds there. pretty scary. Yeah, so that's what happens like during landslides. Have that's... you ever witnessed it? No, I've been in places where like the, the river rises due to a flood, not to rock slide. I'd love to get a video of that. <laughs> we gotta go look under there, Let's find some fish. one piece out with me. You don't have to take everything you see. It's not really your job, but and if everybody brought one extra piece, that means that every visitor has negative impact on the amount of trash in the river. One piece, guys. Uh, Woo! Now you got it. Now we're about halfway up. So a beautiful, beautiful pool here and an awesome small waterfall there. Now you gotta see if we uh, can get behind it. Maybe there's a cave with its Chinese name in it. Maybe, maybe let's try to walk around there. I bet I can see through that, but I don't think you can. It's not easy. Down. And then come over to where I am. We're good. Woo! That was fun. 
do that. Like, that was a little bit of a challenge. I was scared, man. I thought I was going to die for a second. And what everybody says when they go out with me. Oh my God, this is getting difficult. I think my brain was starved of oxygen, but it feels like it just doesn't stop. How do you even know you're alive unless you thought you were going to die for a second? <laughs> this crazy mother <laughs> Enough playing around. Well, race you, man. And no name Dave. Ooming Dave takes the lead. <laughs> Another fine mess you've gotten us into. Uh, I think we're in the Dave testing out his skills. All right. That was pretty good. Woo! It's just, uh, look at this huge collection of fruit. So we gotta step on them. Yeah, yeah. What are they Make wine. What is it? Uh, probably whatever's off of this tree. Woo! A lot of elevation gain. Played too much in the beginning, now I'm tired and hungry. We're really going up now. Quite a, quite a climb. Yeah, I think it's just around the corner. This place is pretty. There it is. That's it. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> Big man in a little crack. Sounds really dirty, but Ooh. it's not. When I was here the first time, we couldn't climb over this. So we had to take the rope up. But uh, maybe now it's different because it's not the river changed a lot. So let's see if we can get over it. Oh yeah. Trying to get dry. Maybe that can be your name. What if Yao Piku? What if Yao Piku was my name? Because I'm fing <laughs> with Yao Piku. Yao Piku. What's Yao Yao Piku? Oh, oh. So what's your surname? Yao? Yao. Yao. Yao Piku. Yao Piku. <laughs> so your name is Ass. Surname Shake. What do y'all think? Can we do it? I think we need to keep searching. Okay. We tried. We almost got a name for Dave. Good start. Let us know in the comments your suggestions. So we're heading back now. We're gonna find a nice place to camp. I already have one in mine next to the river. Just wanna say though that there's a path in the forest here. So for people who don't want to like, you know, trace up the river, there's a, a nice path that'll make it a lot easier. <laughs> oh, this path is not easier. <sighs> See that? That's how you get above the waterfall, huh? I feel like we should have gotten straight down there. There's clearly a nicer path down there. How do we get back down onto that nice path? Oh uh, yeah, they connect here. All right, that was a fun little detour. Now we're on the proper path. So really, you hardly need to do any river tracing at all uh, to get to this waterfall. We just did all that through the river uh, because we like it and it's fun. So, hey, whoa, my name's Joe Peter, man. What are you talking about? Yeah, thank you. Maybe Banana Dave? This is one of my favorite plants here. It's called a, a bird nest fern, and uh, they're also edible. So, like when they're babies, they're edible. This path is in much, much better condition than it was when I came here four years ago. Definitely a lot more people are coming here now, which is very nice, because now we have this nice, beautiful path. It's pretty easy. Oh, monkey. No. But there's never just one monkey. It's just so green, it's amazing. It's like f***ing really wacky. Yeah. <laughs> There's just like a little blue, blue mark right in there. Those are the, uh, those ferns I was talking about. 
All right, and we are back. Now we're at the very first, top of the very first waterfall. There is a path right here in the forest. You can see it on my map. You can go all the way to the waterfall, and the only river you have to cross is the main river in the very beginning. And then from here, you can go all the way up to the waterfall or all the way back down without even uh, going in the river at all. Not really my thing, but uh, if it's your thing, then uh, you know, it's there for you. Not bad, huh? Buzo, buzo. I don't know what you're trying to do. All right, Dave's experimenting with new techniques. Yeah, this ain't bad. Come out from the ditch. This, I think, is a a drainage canal. Oh, be a place for every place to skateboard, dude. Yeah. Damn, extra though. Cool. Yeah. Start a fire with only one piece of wood. Damn, that's a monster, dude. Yeah, yeah. There's like the starter in there. We might as well have a big fire. So because of the pandemic, we all started carrying 75% alcohol with us. It's really good for starting a fire. Just squirt some into a tissue. Now this tissue is pretty loaded. It'll burn quite well. Thank <笑> Oh, you got like oh, a yeah. refrigerator or something? I do have a refrigerator. Oh, shit, dude. You got some good stuff in here, man. Oh, shit. Oh, there's more. Take an onion. Do you like garlic? I love garlic. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna make something that I've actually done before on my show. I made it with my brother. People who are familiar with the channel will remember it. With my brother, Anati. Scary, 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 scary. And you said I couldn't do it. Just use this pot, put it in the fire. Inside, we'll put chicken, vegetables. It's so good. It's just amazing, yeah. Oh boy, I'm so hungry now. Try Eat this shit up. Try this one. Yeah, it's something I, I cook quite often. I really like it. I'll use this cast iron pot here, which I can just put in the fire. And what I do is I'll put the vegetables at the bottom, then the chicken on top, and the fat from the chicken will drip down and, and cook the vegetables. Usually, I really carb load. I love carbs. I'll put lots of uh, potatoes and also taro in there. But uh, Dave is uh, less of a carb person, so we're going to make a more vegetable version today. Last time we made it, what we found is that the green beans were the most delicious. These really, really, really absorb the fat from the chicken. So savory and delicious. Got lots of green beans now and less potatoes and carrots. First time doing it this way, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it comes out. But most important for everything is lots of onions and garlic. For this, big chunks of onions is fine. We don't need to cut it very small. I'll just quarter them like that and just, boom, drop it in. Big chunks of garlic, I love it. I know lots of people, they like to peel their carrots. You know, that's just a personal thing. I think the skin has a nice taste, so I'm gonna leave it on. Good cook should always taste this food. <laughs> Yo, Xiaofei, leave some for us, man. I'm gonna zest the lemon, something I didn't really do back in the States, but in Taiwan, it just, this, cheers the lemons just taste so good like this, so. Just get a bit of the skin. You don't wanna get too much of the white part, you just wanna get the skin. Ooh. That's gonna drive people mad because they're not all facing the same direction. I'm predicting people are commenting on this little thing being cut off, but I guarantee you it tastes the same. <laughs> nice thin slices of ginger. Tomato's not really necessary, but I don't know, I just like tomatoes. So this is the Israeli sort of style to cut tomatoes because we do it for salads. Ooh. So we want diced tomatoes for salads. So this is a quick and easy way to dice it. 
There you go. Some green beans. Just want to get off this little bit at the end here that's really chewy. So I'm going to take it out. So for that, this has to be facing the same direction. Oh, do you know I have a theme song for my the cooking videos? Camp cooking with Xiao Fei. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, I could be called Yao Pigu too. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. These pants are too tight. Nothing moves. <laughs> Problem is, I don't have an ass. You know, it's like if you have loose pants. You know, get away with it. Squats, homie. Yeah. Squats. I know, I gotta do squats. Squats, if you want to grow the pigu. I'm starting to like the name, Yao Pigu. I, I, I think I could do it. Yeah, yeah I think, I think you drop that name, no. I think no so. problem. And then I'll always remember my first trip with Shafe. Well, you're gonna be telling people the story all the time because you know that if your name is Yao Pigu, they're gonna ask you what you, how you got your name all the time. Really simple. Well, my mother called me that. My English name is Shake That Ass. <laughs> all right, now it's time for the magic. You need a good olive oil. Some rosemary. Mix it all up. Ooh, that's looking like a whole garden right there. This is gonna be our bed for our chicken. Our chicken's just gonna sleep right on top of there, and then the fats and the juices will just ease up. One last thing. Throw in the uh, stringy mushrooms. Yes. That one hates it. This just adds such a nice flavor to the mushrooms. All right, so now this is ready. We're going to put the chicken on top. Before we can do that, we gotta make the fire and get the fire ready. Uh, so we have cold to put the chicken on. This is magnesium, which is a very flammable metal. Ooh, there we go. we're popping. That's a fire. That's a fire. Uh, it's starting. Yeah, I think the fire is catching now, man. We got a fire. All right, I think that's gonna be pretty successful. Mm-hmm. I think we can cook some chicken on that fire. I think this stump here is too green. It's not really burning well. I think we got to move it. Be careful, Chalfe. Thanks, Mom. I don't think that's going to burn very well. Yeah, it's burning way better even just with the opening. Yeah, so our stump was a good idea, but uh, I think it's too green. I don't think it's going to work. It's all right, we'll get good coals out of this. Now we just gotta wait. In about an hour, we'll have some delicious chicken and vegetables. Now I've gotta take all of the footage I got today and back it up and do some editing. Because this is a place that already went to, uh, before and I already have a map on my website, I don't actually have to go make a map now. I can just upload the new footage. And actually there was one part in the beginning where we were walking and there was that uh, metal gate. So that part, I need to write the new map area. So just make a few changes to the map, update new photos, and it's good to go. Pretty easy. And while this footage is backing up, I'm gonna go take a swim. There he is. Yeah, here's a little thing you can hang in your tent if you oh, want. Sweet. Yeah, that might be good. I'm not blind. Oh, that's scary. You gotta jump in that water, man. It is so good. Just, right now? Yeah, before it's gonna get cold later. You gotta just jump in it right now. Here, I'll come with you. We'll cross the river here and then mm -hmm. go to the other side and we'll just ride the current back. There's current? Are you gonna die? Um, I'm not gonna die. I feel like, you know, you know, like one of those fish that have the, yeah. um... Yeah, yeah. The little <laughs> thing. Big fish with the thing. <laughs> It'll feel so good afterwards, man. All right, so it's like, it's like deep in that corner there. So yeah. you, you can do is you just come in from this side and then you just like jump into that current and I'll just take you to the, down to the other side. What? Yeah. Oh, there's f***ing current. Yeah, yeah, this oh, is pretty strong, but the water's kind of warm, it's nice. Do it. Woo! Woohoo! Woo! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, f***ing dude, you're crazy. <laughs> This is actually so perfect. Yeah, it's so nice. This water feels, feels good, amazing. Yeah. Oh wow, this current is taking yeah. us. It just takes you right to where Ooh. you want to be though. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, boy! Ow! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Wow, that was perfect, dude. <laughs> if I wake up every f***ing morning like this. And I'm f***ing starving. Yeah, after that, after that swim, right? I think this is ready. Yo, so this crazy motherfucker, he is like waking me up in the middle of the night, and make me jump in the water, and he's cooking over a fire. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive three days of this. You know, he's a real wilderness man over here. This Shao Fei guy. I don't know about this guy. He's a mother old man. Oh. Boy, I'm cold out here. <laughs> but if I yell my prick, oh, I'll be warming up. <laughs> Ooh. 
That looks hot. Yeah. I can that. really go on that table right now. That this, hot? Is, this is aluminum. Oh, it smells so good. Dude, it smells so good. Oh, money. I, I uh, changed my opinion. This shop fake, guys. All right. We're going to we're gonna survive. We're, we're not just surviving out here. We're thriving. Hell yeah. It looks really good. I want to eat it. Give yourself a big old piece of chicken. I don't know if that piece is big enough, man. There we go. Oh, my God. That looks so good. Oh man, what a beautiful time it is to be alive. All right. Just give me and then I'll be you. Ooh. I think it's perfect. It's not poison. Actually, the potatoes more or less just taste like potatoes. All the mushrooms have the lemon flavor. You gotta try this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. That's really good, dude. That's it for tonight. We're gonna go to bed. This is day one of a three-part series, so I hope you click the subscribe button because we got two more coming. Comment if you have a good name for him. So far, we're going with Yao Pigu. <laughs> if we use it for too long, it's just gonna stick, so dude, really hope you cool, like it. It's like Yao Ming, Yao Pigu, you know? Yeah, it's so cool. I'm sure everybody thinks it's really cool. <laughs> I'm sure when you introduce yourself, like, hey, I'm Yao Pigu, they'll be like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think Good so. Enough? I think so. So yeah, ah, I think, yeah. Okay, I'm starting, it's starting to grow on me. Yeah, I think you can really rock it, yeah. Mm. All right. Good night, everybody. Yeah, man, one time I was scuba diving, I was pretty hungover, and I was like almost throwing up underwater, man. I was not doing well. And then like 50 dolphin like came and swam up to us. My friend happened to be filming with a GoPro, and like on her GoPro, you can hear me go, I like almost just tossed it when the dolphin but swam think, up, man. But I think when you puke in the water, it does, don't a lot of fish come over? That's what they, yeah, they said I should have puked, man. I like held it in. They said, they were all like, dude, let us we know next time, man. We got you drunk last night on purpose. <laughs>